That one had barely had a prayer, but it went in. Knocked out by Van Dyke. So some early pressure here by the Eagles trying to get something going here. They've got to try and break the scoring drought. They've got to try and break it up. There's the steal by Henry, but Cutter gets it back. Cutter inside to Lloyd. Lloyd lays it up, no good. Rebounded by Henry. Van Dyke across the timeline. Basel running and gunning, but they'll have to set it up. Martindale in the paint. He'll lay it up, and a foul called on Dan Lloyd. That's number two. I know the Basilian likes the fact that these fouls are being called, but I think they'd rather them being called on John Lloyd because, uh, of course, John the better player. John the man who has brought Sigma Alpha here this far. He's the man. He's the man for Sigma Alpha. If they get him in foul trouble, they're going to be in trouble. Of course, Dan Lloyd still provides body, and Dan gets the boards. He's a good defensive player. He has more block shots than John does this year. So it would still be, you would still hate to, uh, to lose him. Well, of course, yes. But the fact still remains that they would rather have John Lloyd right. out, I think. Right. Martindale hits one of his two. It's 12-7, five-point Spartan lead. Dalton guarded by Taylor. Dalton gives to Quarter. Quarter checked in for Dan. Dan taking a seat with two fouls. Cutter for three, in and out, rebounded by Martindale. Henry in the paint, he'll lay it up. No good, rebounded by Ray. No call. And Henry is frustrated. Stolen by Martindale. Martindale lay it up, no good, gets his own rebound, knocked out of bound by Quarter. And the game getting a little bit out of control at this point. And John Lloyd has to call a timeout. Now, things were a little bit out of hand. Henry wanted the foul, but then Cutter got the ball. Then Martindale stole the ball, and they got away with it. And that's where we stand now, Basilian ball. A real weird turn of events, but Basilian needs us. Basilian needs to get Sigma Alpha in this run and gun game because Sigma Alpha all year has played a slow style of ball. They've played walk it up the floor, pass off, then try to get it inside. Basilian's got to get him running. If Basilian gets him running, they could blow this game away. We have just under 14 minutes to go in the first half. 12-7 Spartans with a quick update. Bob Radford on the sideline. Well, John, uh, I was just at the Sigma Alpha bench, and they seem to be very comfortable with their rotation offense. They seem to be opening things up very well. It's working very well for them. Also, in that last time out, they want to go to their big men, use the Lloyd brothers a little bit more. Back to you, John. Basel ball, Van Dyke on the right side. He'll come back out to Taylor. Taylor in the paint. He puts a jumper up. It falls. Taylor, the freshman, or rather the junior from Atlanta, Georgia, with a nice jump shot in the lane. 12-9, Basel back to within three. Seth Henry better watch the body, otherwise he's going to get called for a foul here pretty quickly. Ray at the top of the key, looking for help. He goes to quarter. Quarter looking to go inside. Ray back out. Now he goes to Lloyd. Lloyd's going to have to bring it back out. Nice defense by Erkins. Lloyd drives in the lane, and a foul called. Lloyd traveled, but no call. And now a foul. And that's on Martindale. So Martindale quickly uh, has two. And that hurts. Lloyd walking in the lane. And he'll go to the line to shoot a few. It falls. 13-9. Spartans by four. You know, Basilian is down, Musser. They, they haven't been down that many times. Well, of course, the Theta Kappa twice. But they're so confident. They're so cool. They know what they've got to do. You can just see the look on their faces. They're not worried. They're not getting frustrated, John, and I think that's a key. 14-9. Spartans back up by five. Henry gives to Taylor. Taylor with the jump shot from outside. He gets his own rebound and a foul on Quarter. Quarter doesn't like that call, but that's the call, nevertheless. You know what there? It was kind of funny. Sigma Alpha did the job. They boxed out, but they didn't box out the man they needed to, Mr. Chris Taylor. 
It's going to be Spartan ball. Dalton gives to Cutter. Cutter back out to Ray. Sigma Alpha really working the ball good here in the first half. Cutter goes inside to Lloyd. Lloyd puts the ball down in the paint. Stolen by Van Dyke. Back come the Eagles. Van Dyke brings it back out to Taylor. Taylor for three. Count it. They're only going to give him two. Taylor for two. Back to a three-point game. If Taylor gets hot, watch out. Stolen by Van Dyke from the foul line. It's good. Cutter inbounds to Lloyd. Lloyd cross court to Dalton. Dalton wide open in the paint. Pass off to Cutter. Cutter for the dunk. He misses it. Ray with the rebound. Back out to Dalton, and let's set it up. Cutter shouldn't have tried for the dunk there. He should have just laid it in. Getting too hot. Quarter inside to Lloyd, and Lloyd is hacked by Erkins. That's two on Erkins, Mosser. That's second foul on Erkins, so Matt Jones is going to check in and give Erkins a sit-down seat. Now, Matt Jones always plays up for the big games. He's a very quiet offensive guy, but he'll do a good job. He's got a little bit more muscle than Erkins. I think yeah. he'll be able to box Lloyd out a little bit better. He's got he's a bigger body, he's got more weight. He's not as tall though, and that could hurt because Lloyd's a pretty big boy. I mean, he, he's tall, but he's got size. John Lloyd, his first free throw in and out. Now Lloyd, that makes him two for three. He hit his first two. Second shot is up. It's good, and Lloyd has seven points in the game already. 15-13, Spartans by two. Taylor goes to Henry. Henry to Taylor on the right side. Taylor wants the shot, nothing there. Henry goes to Van Dyke. Van Dyke back over to Taylor. Taylor going in the paint, gives out to Martindale. Martindale guarded by Cutter. Martindale lays it up, and he's fouled. They've got to give the ball to Taylor. He feels it now. He's got the hot hand. That's another foul on Corder. That's his second. Corder on the court now in the place of Dan Lloyd, who drew two early fouls, and he's on the bench. They're going to get a towel and bring it out. The floor's getting a little wet. A lot of bodies going down there. 11 minutes and 24 seconds to go. In the first half, 15-13 Spartans. Kent Martindale has had an outstanding game so far. He's going to go to the line to shoot some. Now, he has two fouls, but Kent is, he's just stepped it up a notch. That free throw, just like breathing for him. Well, those of you who don't always watch the ball, watch Kent Martindale on defense. He, right now, is playing the best defense on the floor. Of course, Seth Henry running around, doing his thing, making havoc. But Martindale is just playing solid defense right now. Watch him when you watch him when he goes down the floor. Martindale shot in and out, rebounded by Lloyd. Henry's been just absolutely fast and scrappy tonight too, and he's he's just the glue that holds the Spartan team together, along with Martindale. 15-14, Spartans with a one-point lead. Cutter in the paint, lays it up, and a jump ball. Possession, Spartans. Sigma Alpha playing tough D, making the Spartans work for every point. Cutter with the inbound to Lloyd. Ray at the top of the key, he's working it. Wisnan into the game as Dalton takes a break. Ray, bounce pass into Lloyd, back out to Ray. He gives to Quarter. Quarter into Ray, or rather into Lloyd, and Lloyd knocks it out. And there you go. Great defense by Kent Martindale. Get perfect time to watch him. Ken Martindale is at the right place at the right time. And it's Basel Ball, a chance for them to get their first lead of the game. Taylor goes to Van Dyke. Van Dyke calling the offense. Henry looks a little tired. Martindale, Taylor for three, no good.